Hey, welcome to the world around us. In this episode, we're we're gonna do a virtual lab on work and energy. We're gonna we're gonna look at the amount of, of work that is done on an object when a a uh, applied force goes through a certain distance. So we're we're gonna do this virtually. We're gonna do this virtually, and and uh, we're gonna be using the hypothetical force meter that will send the applied force directly to the the camera so that we can have a very accurate uh, a force reading and, and it is the hypothetical force meter so you can probably infer what that means we're going to be using a very a very uh, sophisticated track uh, on which we're going to uh, test three different surfaces we're going to test the natural surface and then we're going to cover it with a an orange surface and then a yellow surface and, and I think we're going to get different results I think we're going to get different different results, and we'll be able to calculate three different three different measures of the work done. So let's get started. Let's do that. Here we go. Here's the setup. Here's the first setup. As you can see, the uh, the surface is just the, the natural surface there, and uh, it may look like a tabletop, but it probably probably could be something else. And so here it goes. We're going to apply a force starting at the one meter point, and uh, we'll get the elapsed time. Which we could calculate if we wanted to, and we're stopping at the at the six meter point, and it is meters. It's not inches that we're pretending like they're meters. It's actually in meters. Uh, and and so now we have an applied force, and we have a distance of five meters. So we're going to use the work formula that tells us that work is force applied through a distance. So it's the applied force and the distance through which that force was applied. That's going to give us the amount of work done. So we can calculate that. And I'll leave that as an exercise since it is, after all, a virtual lab. Down in the notes section of this video, there is a link to the companion worksheet, uh, the Google worksheet that, that you could use to, to work this out. Okay, so here we go. Next trial. Trial two. We're, we're using, as you can see, the orange, the orange surface. And, and you can see that the the applied force is is a little bit a little bit greater. So as that applied force goes up, the distance stays the same. So we go we go five we go five meters, not inches, five meters again. And when that applied force through that distance, it's going to give us a different amount of work. Back to the worksheet, calculate that. There you go. Next, we're going to use the yellow surface. The yellow surface. Here we go with the yellow surface. And interestingly enough, the, the applied force on the yellow surface is less, according to our hypo force meter, hypothetical force meter, the, the applied force is a little bit less. So uh, now that's going to mean that the amount of work done is also less. However, you, you will notice we actually went a little bit more than the five meters. So we're going to have to calculate that a little bit differently. So the distance through which that force is applied it is not five this time, it's a little bit different. So down in the worksheet, take a look at that worksheet, work through that stuff. All right, so now the, the last concept on here is going to be how much energy did it take to do that amount of work? Well, this is, a, this is an easy, easy concept. Energy and work are like different sides, like, like, like energy is the currency that will purchase work. So if you need to buy five joules of work, you need five joules of energy to purchase that. You can think of it as money. It's like an apple costs a dollar. The currency to buy that is a dollar. So if you're the amount of work done is the amount of energy that was that was spent to, to do that. So uh, so for each of the trials the, the, the answer to how much energy was used it's going to be the same as the amount of work that was done. So there's there's your um, epiphany moment. All right, in the video, in the virtual lab, it's it's a real simple concept. Work is force through a distance. So you can you can uh, you can always calculate that, uh, and it is the applied force, not the net force, because there are other forces that are involved in in uh, in that system. There's friction that is that is holding back the object. So we get a, a net force of zero, but the applied force was indicated by the hypo force meter, the hypothetical force meter. All right, that's it. So work done, energy used, the same. The amount of work done is the applied force through the distance. That's all. 
if you have questions, comments, suggestions, whatever, uh, let me hit me down in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All those sorts of things that you do on YouTube. That's it. See you in the next episode.